Purchasing your first domain name. One of your first tasks to complete when you decide to build an internet presence is to purchase a domain. Choosing the absolute best domain name is a subject for another discussion. In this short video, I will just walk through the process of purchasing a domain and redirecting it to your hosting account. You purchase domains from domain register sites. Now there's a vast selection of these sites to choose from and as you gain experience and continue to purchase more domains, you will find one that you're comfortable with. Some registrars will attempt to sell you additional items you may not be interested in at the time and do other things that aggravate you. So choose your domain registrar carefully so you don't have to wander through sales pitches every time you purchase a domain. When you purchase a domain, you can pay for one year and then log in every year and renew it. Or you can purchase for a number of years and not worry about losing it if you forget to renew it. Now, there are good reasons for both methods, which we will not discuss here. Just look carefully when you purchase your domain and make sure you are buying for the number of years you want. Some registrars will have your account set to automatically pay for renewal. For over 17 years, I have been buying my domains from Namecheap. They are reliable and make the domain purchase a pleasure. Other internet marketers have their own favorites. Choose yours with care and you will be comfortable dealing with them for years. Now, when you arrive at your chosen domain registrar, you will set up an account and choose a username and password. Now, you're ready to search for and purchase that first domain. Just one more item you should understand before you purchase that domain. You will need some place to place your domain so it can be found on the internet. Those places are called hosting companies and, as with registrars, there are hundreds of hosting companies to choose from. We'll cover how to use a hosting company in another video. Now when you open an account with a hosting company, they will give you two short pieces of text that look something like this. ns one dot Ho60.com and ns2ho60.com. Different hosting companies will have different DNS text, but they'll be similar as they appear here. These are called DNS, which stands for Domain Name System. Now we won't go into detail here, but just understand that after you purchase your domain, you will have to add these at your domain registrar site, and I will demonstrate how that's done in this video. When you arrive at your chosen registrar, search for this box, search domain, and it's normally on the opening page of the site. In this box, you'll type keywords that are closely related to the domain name you're looking for. For instance, maybe you're gonna build a site about drones, so you could type in something like mini drone deals and then click on the, uh, the search button. That opens up a page that will show you all the domains that are available for that particular keyword. You see you got biz.online.com.life.design. The old days of just .com are long gone and now there's dozens of different uh, domains that you can buy. Now, you won't always be fortunate enough to find a domain you want on your first search, but in this case, we have a .com that's available, so let's grab that one. After clicking on the little cart button, another page will open up. It'll show you your domain name and what it's going to cost you. Now, look at your domain name very, very carefully. Make sure you didn't misspell it, because once you buy it, you own it. If you're happy with it, click on View Cart. That will bring you to a page similar to this, where you can see the domain that you've ordered, how long it's going to be registered for, in this case, one year, and whether or not it includes who is Guard, which is usually given free for your uh, first year. The next page will ask you if you have a promo code, which is a code that a lot of hosting companies offers a discount. You can search Google to see if you can find a promo code for that particular registrar. And if you're happy with everything, click on confirm order. Now remember, when you open your registrar account, you got a username and password. You'll now use that username and password to log into the account. This brings you to a page where you can confirm that everything is exactly as you wanted it. The spelling of your domain, what the cost is going to be, and you can always make changes by clicking on Edit Cart. Now, if everything is just the way you want it, we move on. 
And now you're at a page where you can choose the way you're going to pay for your domain. You can either use PayPal or, as it says, select some other payment option. Now, after you've made your payments, you'll be brought to a page where you'll see a box that says Manage. Click on the Manage for the domain. On this page, find the domain that you just purchased and move to the right and click on Manage. On this page, look for the section that says Name, Cheat, Basic DNS, and click on the drop down menu. Click on Custom DNS, and now you're going to paste in those two little pieces of DNS text that we talked about earlier. You can copy each one separately and paste it in. I usually just paste in the first one, paste the same one in the second spot, and change the one to a two. Most hosting companies the, uh, both of these DNS settings are going to be exactly the same except for the number one and two. Now click on that little green check mark and you now own a domain and it's ready to add to your hosting account. When your domain is first purchased, it may not be visible right away. It has to propagate, which just means that it could take a few minutes or maybe even 24 hours before the domain is visible. If you have questions about domains or any other internet marketing subject, be sure to log into the Locusware group where the group members and support staff will answer all of your questions quickly. Don't take chances. For the best domain registrar, it's Namecheap. And host your domains where people treat them like their own. That's Host60. Check the links below this video to find these great companies.